Learning to code can be extremely difficult. When I first started coding, I used to struggle a lot, but over the years, I learned a bunch of different things that have really helped me in my coding journey. So in this video, I wanna share those things with you today. So maybe you can skip some of the struggles that I went through. Some of the things I'm gonna tell you about may seem obvious, but some of them you may not have thought about before. So stick to this advice and it will help you progress throughout your coding journey and advance a lot quicker. All right, so the very first thing I wanna talk about is resources. The number one reason I think Think a lot of people get held back as programmers is that they're using bad resources whether it's learning the code or looking at documentations and tutorials to learn a new technology a bad resource can be extremely discouraging a bad resource might leave you confused and you might question why can't i comprehend this and you might actually blame yourself or doubt your own ability to comprehend things you might be like oh maybe i'm not cut out for being a programmer i can't understand this but a lot of the times it's not your fault it's not that you can't understand it, it's that it's a bad resource. And whether that's a teacher using complicated terminology that you don't understand when they don't necessarily have to, or whether it's outdated documentation that hasn't been updated and doesn't make sense anymore, a lot of different things on the internet that you'll run into are going to be really confusing just because the creator of the resource isn't either maintaining it or doing their best job. And finding good resources is actually a skill that you'll have to work on as a program. The best resources are different for everybody, but it's the easiest thing for you to understand. And usually it's something that gets straight to the point. So next time you're doing a tutorial, reading documentation, or watching a video, maybe ask yourself, if I don't understand this, is this my fault? Or maybe this just isn't a good resource and I should try and look for a different one. Speaking of great resources, I think now's a great time to mention a resource I highly recommend, which is the sponsor of this video, Zero to Mastery. I've worked with Zero to Mastery multiple times now because every time I mention them, I get a lot of positive feedback from my viewers. Simply put, Zero to Mastery is an online platform with dozens of courses and online resources to help people learn how to code and get hired in the tech industry. Zero to Mastery has courses for every step of your career, whether you're a beginner learning how to code, whether you're a programmer trying to get hired, or whether you're a professional trying to advance your skill set. There's tons of content for whatever you want to learn, whether that's web development, machine learning, cybersecurity, web three, or even if you just want to work on your soft skills with over a thousand hours of content and they're consistently adding new things. They have world-class instructors and over a million students have either enrolled or graduated from their courses. One of the coolest things they do is a career path quiz, which based on your current skill set and your career goals will recommend a path of learning for you. They have monthly and annual memberships and clicking the link in the description will give you a discount. So go check them out and see if it's for you. I've worked with them multiple times now because the viewer's feedback is so positive about the platform. All right, so moving on to the next thing in your coding journey that's really important to focus on. And that would be the fundamentals. Foundational knowledge of programming is like the roots of a tree, providing the support and nourishment the tree needs to grow tall. Everything is building blocks built on top of this foundational knowledge. So while it might seem exciting to jump into advanced topics like machine learning right away, if you try to do that, you're gonna fail miserably because there's just gonna be so much foundational knowledge that you're missing and you need that to understand more advanced and complex ideas. Learning how to code at a basic level with data types, conditionals, variables, loops, data structures, this will transfer, all of this foundational knowledge will transfer across the board and it will help you understand everything better. Now it does take a while to actually build a strong foundation, but that's why you just gotta understand there's no shortcuts in coding. So you just gotta put in the hard work and time to get that good foundation. The next thing that you should focus on to make coding a lot easier is problem solving. At its core level, coding is problem solving. And being a successful programmer is not just about writing code, it's about using code as a tool to solve problems. To be successful as a programmer, you'll need the ability to conceptualize and understand a problem. And what any good problem solver comes to learn is that you'll take a big problem and you'll split it up into a bunch of smaller problems. These smaller problems will be much more manageable than the bigger, more complex problem, and you can solve those one by one. Being a good problem solver is being creative and innovative. A lot of the time in coding, it's not gonna be about just finding the most straightforward solution to a problem, but it might be about finding the most efficient solution to a problem. You'll need a strong analytical mindset to be a good programmer. Thinking logically about the solutions to a problem and weighing the pros and cons for different approaches. Problem solving is the key driver for growth in programming. 
Most of the times, the problems you'll be solving as a programmer will teach you something new in order for you to solve them. The next thing everyone has to focus on to be good at coding is consistency. This one is pretty obvious. Practice makes perfect. The more you code, the better you're going to be at coding. You might not want to hear this, but you should probably be coding every day if you want to be a good programmer. This is because solving problems using code usually requires a lot of different moving parts and details. And if you go a day or two without coding, you might kind of forget what was going on days prior when you were working on a problem. You need to be doing it consistently so all of the details stay fresh in your mind. When you're learning to code, you might also think one strategy is to just read books and watch videos, but the best way to learn to code is to actually code. So when I'm saying to be consistent and to code every day, I'm saying to actually write code physically with your hands, actually write, type on a keyboard and write code every single day. And it doesn't have to necessarily be intense coding. It can be making a commit to a GitHub, working slowly on a project, doing a little bit of a tutorial or solving a couple of practice problems. But if you're gonna take really long breaks in between each coding session, then you're definitely going to struggle a lot. The last and most important thing I think you should focus on if you want coding to come easier to you is track your progress. I don't think a lot of people have thought about this or talked about this in videos, but I think tracking your progress is extremely important nowadays. You know, there's a common saying on the internet, picks or it didn't happen. If you think about that, it's kind of true. And you might actually forget a lot of the things you've learned or worked on in the past because you didn't document or track your progress. Tracking your progress not only allows you to go back and look at what you've accomplished, but it also allows you to showcase this work to others. As you work on different projects and you track your progress, you can start to develop a path for yourself. Not only that, but documenting all of your work will help you build confidence. I think a lot of programmers could have confidence issues if a lot of the things that you work on aren't documented and then you look at other programmers who documented and you're like wow look at all of the things they did i don't even remember what i did i didn't document it so whether this is just pushing all of your code up onto your github profile or actually having a portfolio to display all of your projects having your work documented has almost no downsides and can be a huge confidence booster and help you clearly forge a path forwards as a programmer so i used to struggle with all of this stuff when i first started learning to code so this is all of the stuff i wish I knew when I started coding, I would focus on all of these things. And I think if you focus on these things, it'll make coding a lot easier. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If my eye looks a little bit messed up, I apologize. I think I popped a blood vessel in my eye. So apologies for that if it looks kind of gross. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.